Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how we can read coil status of our Modbus TCP IP device in the node read. Okay, so this was the flow in the previous video to read the coil status of our Modbus TCP IP device. It can be our physical device or it can be simulated device. Okay, now in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to read the input coil status of our Modbus TCP IP device in the node read. So I'm going to use the same open more sim software to simulate my uh, Modbus TCP device. And here we are going to simulate the input status, okay, instead of coil status. So here you have to select the input status to simulate the input status of your Morbus TCP IP device, okay. Now uh, you can double click here to auto simulate this one, okay. And we are going to toggle it at interval of 2 seconds, okay. So the first input uh, coil will toggle at interval of 2 seconds and also we will do for the last one, okay. We will enable toggle at interval of one second and that's it. So this last uh, input status will toggle at interval of one second. The first one will toggle at interval of two seconds. Now we want to read this input status in the node read. So how we can do that? So we can copy this. Okay. We can paste it here. And instead of coil, what we can specify input status. Okay and uh, instead of function code 1 we can select function code 2 to read the input status and the address is same the quantity is same the poll rate is same also the server is same okay because we are using this uh, open more same from the very first video so everything is same so that's it we can select done okay we can uh, exist it and we can select it we can right click we can enable the selected nodes and uh, that's it. We can deploy the flow. Okay. Here you will see the first one is true, true, false, false. Okay. And the last one is also you can see it is changing. If I uh, make the second last input status on, then you will see that here. You can see it is true always. Okay. And the first and last is always simulating. So you will see the changes here in the node status okay so this is how you can use modbus read node to read the input status data of any of your modbus tcp device in the node read after reading the data you can do whatever you want to do with the data you can create a dashboard you can log in to the database csv anything okay but this is the basic uh, thing that how you can read the data of your uh, modbus tcp device and specifically input status data okay you can see that so every second we can read the data so i hope this thing is clear that uh, how to read input coil status of morbus tcp ip device in the node read and if you still have any question or any confusion then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp also you can send comment on this video okay so let's meet in the next video and in the next video or in the next couple of videos instead of morbus tcp ip device we are going to perform the same thing with Morbus serial device okay so stay tuned for the future videos till then take care goodbye and thank you